want to. Amen. 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 And listen, family, we want to uh, welcome our Facebook family in. Amen. 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 We will see this recording a little later. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome them in uh, with us on today. Amen. Amen. Since this is Women's Month, um, the Lord gave me a special series um, entitled The Ladies in Luke. The ladies in Luke. We're going to look at the women in the book of Luke. Amen. Amen. And this is going to be an interesting journey um, for us. Amen. Stay with me if you will. Turn to Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. From verses 10 through 17. Luke chapter 13, read from verses 10 through 17, reading from the New American Standard Version of the Bible. Amen. You all have to say amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God reads as such. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And there was a woman who for 18 years had a sickness caused by a spirit and she was bent double and could not straight up at all. And when Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, woman, you are free from your sickness. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made erect again and began glorifying God. Yes. But the synagogue official watched this you all indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. Began saying to the crowd in response, there are six days in which work should be done. So come doing them and get healed. Not on the Sabbath day. Lord have mercy. But the Lord answered him and said, you hypocrites, do, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie, untie his ox or his donkey from the stall and lead him away to water? And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, as she is, whom Satan has bound for 18 long years, should not should she not been released from this bond on the Sabbath day? And as he said this, all his opponents were being humiliated, and the entire crowd was rejoicing over the glorious things being done by him. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. For those that are in person. Um, you can recite the Sermonic Prayer. For those that are on Zoom, you can say it to yourself. Lord, prepare our hearts, Lord, prepare our hearts to, receive your word. to receive your word and prepare our spiritual hearing to hear your word. Lord, help us to move from illumination to transformation to application. Amen. We may receive it. Amen. For our time together, um, family, I want to preach from a archaic um, sermon title. And for those who are old enough in the room, you will identify with the archaic sermon title. It is Let's Straighten It Out. <laughs> Let's Straighten It Out. Out. Yes, Grace, I went back in the crates of November 1974. Let's straighten it out. It is a song by Lattimore. And Lattimore, in this song, that he is pleading and he is expressing how he wants to straighten things out with the one that he is with. Yes. Amen. Right. But I'm not talking about Lattimore today. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Lord on today. All right, all right. Amen. 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 In our text, family, we find a very interesting, very beautiful narrative 
Jesus the Endero stops by the church. He is the guest preacher of that day. Yes. Amen. He comes in, he's teaching, and as he's teaching, uh, Virginia, there is a woman who walks in to this particular worship time. Yes. Family, she goes into that section early where it's only designated for women because the women did not sit with the men. And now here she comes. Can you see her? She's bent over double, baby. Key. She can't even stand up. She's moving real slow. It's painful. She's looking at the ground, but she says, I got to get to church. Regardless of my condition, here it is, Grace. For 18 years, she keeps showing up to the church. And as she shows up to the church, she leaves the same way when she came in. But for 18 years, she says, listen, it's not about my condition, but it's all about me getting the word. And I understand that one day my turn will come. And right, now come she's on. coming. She, she shows up. Yeah. Here it is, fam, I'm early. But listen, she didn't let her condition stop her attendance. Preach hey, pastor. Man. And so right. now right. she bent over double instead of saying at home and saying, listen, I can't let people see me like this, Miss Perkins. I, I can't even go outside like this. She made her way so come I'm going to make my way up to the house of worship. And here it is. The guest preacher of that day was Jesus Christ, our oh, risen oh, Lord yeah. and Savior. And he is teaching the word of God in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And she now she goes in there and the scripture tells us, family, that Jesus saw her pause. Now, can I tell you, she's bent over double. She's not standing upright. And here it is. How? Here it is. How did Jesus see her? <laughs> yes, but Jesus saw her. Why is this family? He didn't see her condition, but he saw her. Ooh, on, and then on, now man. he says, listen, he watched this day. He didn't say um, cripple woman. No, he says woman. Yeah, he calls her. And when he calls her, um, she comes forth. Can you imagine family all sitting in the synagogue? There. And then he's all the way up front. You all the way back there with the women. And then he calls you. Hold up. Okay. Here it is, family. Um, didn't even say her name. He called her. Pause. He called her. Wait, which her are you talking about? Right, she right, understood right. that my faith has now kicked in with the force of the living God. Right, now right, let right. me come forth and oh, get what I've been waiting for 18 years for. And now she comes slowly. Yeah, She's slow. coming come slowly. And now watch this. He speaks a word into her situation and then he gives confirmation by touching her. And then now she stands upright and begins to praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. It would have been nice, Jackie Jones, if the story stopped there. But now we got the synagogue room, the equivalent of the pastor of that church. And he says, listen, we ain't worried about her healing. We just worried about the fact you broke the law. We, huh? Yeah. Um, the past is more concerned about the law being broken instead of these chains being broken off this one. Why'd you know? Yeah, now this synagogue ruler just snaps off on Jesus. Jesus, my shit. Snaps off on him and said, listen, this is Sabbath day. You came in here, you preached a good word, but then people are getting delivered. We want you just preach, but we don't want you um, to deliver people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't it sound like 2023? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, here oh, it is. I'll just take the sermon, but don't mess with my demons because I ain't trying to get delivered. Priest, pastor, I am. Oh, and so God. now, here it is, family. Great. This synagogue ruler breaks out the law. And here Jesus did, he said, listen, I ain't worried about the law. I'm healing this woman because of the love that's in my heart Aren't that you know? goes to her heart. Yes. And so now here it is, family. Uh, Jesus snapped off on her and said, you hypocrite. How is it that you care more about an animal than you do a person? Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right now, mm. come on. And then there were those in the, in the church that day that sided with the synagogue ruler. You do know that there are people that come to church. There is this uh, people that come to church, Miss Perkins, that's hypocrites and hurting. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, preach. Okay. Um, and we got to be careful that we don't become hypocrites and hurt the hurting more than they're hurting. Oh yes. yeah. So now, um, Jesus humiliated yeah. the hypocrites, but now he turns to, now the crowd saying, listen, I ain't part of that no more. Listen, I'm going to change my focus. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and celebrate with her. Yeah, I'm not 
Yeah, yeah, you ain't got to shake me. I got the picture. Thank you. I'm going to join with the celebration. All right. All right. All right. Get on the um, Here it is, family. The Lord is telling us, family, it's not so much about the day. But it's all about the deliverance. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, aren't you glad Amen. that the Lord don't have to wait till a special day to come deliver you? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Now, family, that's the yeah. story. Y'all ready for a sermon? Here it is. I'm happy because this, I ain't got no cord on this. And no telling what they have today. So here it is, family. Let's straighten it out. Let's straighten it out. Let's, straighten mm-hmm. let's straighten it out. see here, family, the uh, condition of the woman. Verse 11. See this big problem of the condition of the woman. And there was a woman who for 18 years had a sickness caused by a spirit. And she was bent double and could not straighten up at all. This woman who was in severe physical pain, her body was bent double like you at the waist. Surely each day was a struggle for her. She found herself in a physical condition that prevented her from looking up. Yes. Pause. Yes. Family, can I tell you, can I ask you a question since I know that y'all know y'all probably going to ask me, but I got to ask you. <laughs> what got you bent out of shape? Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Well, since I'm here, <laughs> since I'm here, <laughs> since I'm here <laughs> What got you out of shape? Yes. Yeah. What is preventing you from looking up? All right now. What is heavy on your back Jesus. that you yeah. want the good Lord to straighten out for Come you? Come on here, yeah, preach. Family. Wow. Yeah. Help, help, help. She could not, by her own power, overcome her condition. Yes. Yeah. Lady Q, there are some of us. In this room, up in here, on Zoom, and in person, and Facebook, that's going to be watching, who tried to get the monkey off their back, but then they find out there were some more monkeys there. (laughs) And so they try to get this problem and situation and issues off their back and come to discover there's still some more. And then you get exhausted, and then next thing you know, you're still looking down. You still haven't scratched the surface. And so now this woman could not, by her own power, overcome her condition. Sadly, many of us have found ourselves in a spiritual state in which we could not look up either. All right, all right. Family, reason why there's some of us, if we to be honest, and we know some people who can't look up because of the pain and that weightiness of torment and torture they have experienced in their lives. All right, all right. Family, here it is. Let me give you this right here. She was not, my sister's family, possessed by the Spirit, but she was oppressed by the Spirit. Can I tell you the difference? Here it is. Um, For the believer, we can only be oppressed by spirits. But for the unbeliever, they can be possessed by spirits. Ooh, yeah. And so now this spirit has now oppressed her because she is a believer. Yes. Jesus recognized that she was a believer. How, Pastor? I'll get there in a moment when he called her daughter of Abraham. That All right. put That's her faith it. on the carpet because now. Watch this, Ernie. She says, I'm coming up to the synagogue, even though I'm fragile, even though I'm fractured, but my faith is keeping me moving, so I won't have to focus on what's breaking me. That's why, family, that we keep showing up the way we do, because of the simple fact, the faith that we have is the crutch that we lean on. Come on again. Yeah. 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 Can I tell y'all something? We have is the wheels that we roll on, Mr. Perkins, because watch this. Our natural inclination when something happens to us, I'm staying at home. But here it is, family. The same people that stay at home when they have an ailment is the same one you see them in Walmart leaning on that good cop getting their groceries. That's right. 
right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in my first one. I ain't even moved yet. But I, yeah, I'm not moving until the Lord tells me to. Here it is. The devil was attacking her. She's bound by Satan and has a condition that has broken her body. Can I tell y'all something? The devil can attack even us up in here, up in here, up in here. Uh, because watch this, y'all. He attacks only those who are a threat to his uh, kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, family, watch this. If the devil don't bother you, that means mm-hmm, you got on the same jersey he do. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Mars Madness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you on the same team that he is on. Look at that. Family, now, we must comprehend, watch this family, that no godly saint can be possessed by demons. Watch this, you all. Notice that the Lord, he didn't, he speaks a word to the woman. And as he speaks a word to the woman, the infirmity was listening, Lady Key, <laughs> and said, we got to get up out of here. Family, he only addressed her condition. She was oppressed by this spirit that had her bent double. Yes. Family, he was looking for ways, watch this family, to make sure that this woman had what she needed. Right. Can I ask y'all a question? Since, since I was nosy earlier, I'm going to be nosy again. Here it is. What has brought you here this afternoon? Mm. All right, come on. That's right. What is oppressing you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it sin? Who passed them? Is it bitterness? Mm-hmm. Pastor, you keep reading this list. Right. Is it temptation? <laughs> is it hatred? Is it unforgiveness? Is it guilt? Is it addiction? Is it lust? Is it envy? Is it greed? Or is it religion? Is it fear? Is it worry? Is it your finance? Is it your, what's this, your sinful state that has come back to haunt you and you let it haunt you when you really don't have to? The list can go on and on, but the fact of the matter is that the enemy will use anything, even the good things in life, to bind, hinder, and even ultimately, if we let them, destroy our lives. That's right. Right. This woman was undoubtedly regarded as abnormal. Family, can we walk with this woman just a little bit? Imagine seeing her on the street. She's bent over double. Kids making fun of her. Looking at her. Jeering. Making fun of her. But she's still moving. She had to deal with this wall for 18 years. She was an outcast. Unwanted. Unloved. Not cared about Lady Q. On the street, people will cross the street on the other side because they don't want to even cross paths with her. She shunned by society. She experienced rejection herself. But can I tell y'all something this morning, this afternoon, rather? Watch this. Regardless of what was going on in her life, Jackie Scott, she still made her way to the house of God. All right. Amen. 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 She understood that I'm not going to let my condition stop me from getting to Christ. I'm not going to let what has attacked me stop my attendance to the house of God because she recognized, watch this, you all, it's been 18 years. If it's been 18 minutes for some of us and we see no change, Jesus, I'll be at the crib. But this one, for 18 years, Jackie Jones said, even though it ain't my turn, it ain't my time, I'm still not going to stop showing up. Because listen, I got to keep showing up because I don't know which Sunday going to be my turn. Amen. All right. All right. 
Amen. Yes. Come on. Yes. Family. Yes. God Come is on. saying to us, yes. listen, I'm going to let you wait on your breakthrough to see, are you going to keep showing up until you get it? Yeah. All right now. Mm. So could it be, family, that we are in what we in for as long as we are because God is testing us to see how bad do you want? All yeah. right now. Yeah. Can you still maintain your faith when you are hurting? When you know that I got the answer, but you waiting on it to come in a microwave, but God is saying, I got it wrapped in a crock pot. Mm. You're going to have to wait a little longer. It's not, watch this, Virginia, it's not that I don't care about you. I love you enough to let you simmer in your situation so I come to you. All right now. Mm. Here it is, family. Um, right now, I come to understand that some meat got to simmer for the fat to fall off of it. So that it can season the broth around it. <laughs> yeah, I got to let some things fall off you first. All right now. Come on. So if you're going to keep showing up, here it is. Can you keep showing up when, uh, yeah, when you come to the hospital and you come back and still all hell break loose in your house, will you still show up? Come on, preach. Yeah, will you still show up when the doctor's report is not favorable and it has not been for years? Will you still show up? For 18 years. Here she is. She's like, listen. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to church. I may have a hard time getting dressed, but put this show on me. Uh, I'm on my way. And she moving, y'all. Get in there. So that she can get what she needs from the Lord. Family, can I tell y'all something? Don't let nothing or no one stop you from coming to the hospital. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Family, why should we let an individual with issues stop us from coming with our issues? Oh, yeah, we all typically, we all, everybody, everybody up in here, up in here need yes, some help. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Amen, amen. So, family, she yes, shows Lord. up for church. Can't you see it? She shows up for church. And when she shows up, man, the guest preaching. I, if I would have been there that day, I would have told some up. Listen, the guest preacher of that day, family, was Jesus himself. Amen. That leads me to my second point. The cure the woman received. The cure the woman received. Verses 12 through 13. Y'all ready for this? When Jesus saw her, I told you I'm going to pack this in Holland, man. When Jesus saw her, dad, saw her, she bent over double, right? She bent over double. She's looking at the ground. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, woman, you are free from your sickness. And he laid hands on her. And immediately she was made erect again and began glorifying God. Listen, y'all. There's some narratives in the Bible. If I was there, I probably would disrupt everything. Look at this woman. Right? It's on Sabbath. Jesus was teaching in the synagogue. And it's possible that he could see her through the heads of the other people from where he was standing. But however, Luke says in verse 12, but when Jesus saw her. Why well, says you all? Now, the Bible doesn't um, say this, but we can take the inference right here, Deacon Daryl, that I believe, watch this, you all, that his seeing of her was much more than an unintentional glance. Here it is, Virginia. I believe his expression was one of providence or deliberate mercy, knowing that our Redeemer sees us when we're going Amen. through and a slave Amen. a terrible way called sin should bring us some comfort. Yeah. Yeah, yes, Aren't you glad that the Lord sees you? Yeah. 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 You may be bowed down looking at the ground, but the Lord is saying, yeah. I see you and I'm about to come yeah. to lift this yeah. weight yeah. off of you so you can stand up. Yeah. 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 I mean, y'all glad that the Lord has lifted the weight of sin off 
on her. Lord Jesus. Listen, what's this family? It wasn't the word that brought the miracle. Guess what brought the miracle? It was the touch that brought the miracle. Oh, watch this, you all. Um, the word was there. But then here go the application, Lady Q. Uh -huh. Let me apply to you that which you have audibly heard. Yeah. So now that we have heard the word, let me give you some application, Dean Jones. Let me touch you. Mm. Come on, y'all. It's all about the Lord's touch. Yeah. Yeah. I know y'all about to be shocked. Y'all about to bother me up here. Um, listen, it's something about the Lord's to touch. Jackie Scott, I'll pay attention. I'll pay attention very well. Tim Jones, they taught me very well in school. I may not get add all the way up, but I, I know some words. But here it is. It says, he laid his hands, plural, on her. Oh, wait. Not one hand, but you laid both hands. Woo! Okay. Now, you made sure that what was in you will now scare or remove that which is her. Watch this, family. The Lord is saying, I want you to stand upright, so now I'm going to get rid of that which has caused you to look down. Yeah. So now, here it is, family. So he touches her, and when he touches her, can I tell y'all, y'all promise me y'all won't holler. Okay, y'all probably gonna break the front, but it's all right. Ah! Immediately. Immediately. Come on here. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Can y'all say that with me? Immediately. Immediately. On Zoom, I'll meet y'all and say immediately. 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 Yes. Family, after yes. Jesus touched her. Immediately. Wow. Y'all, 18 years of suffering has now ended immediately. Probably just holler all the way to the house, yeah. running like this. Look, watch it, y'all. 
people outside that walk past us. Justice? Is that sister so and so? Don't have scandal for me. Yeah, that's her. And she probably holler at you. Yeah, that's me. It's me. I'm not her. I'm not what I used to be because I'm standing up now. Wow. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Family. Family. Here it is. This woman got a privilege earning to do something that we're waiting to do. Here it is. Standing up, looking at Jesus face to face. Yeah. Here it is. I'm coming to you based on what I heard, and now I'm standing up and I'm looking at the one who spoke to me. Oh, wait. Amen. Two begins glorifying God. They got good church going on. Good church, good church. But y'all. Oh, yeah, I'll give this to you. The third point. Uh, the correction of the synagogue rule of the past. Let's deal with the past. All right now. Verses 14 through 17. Hey, let's deal with this past. I'm sick of him. I had an attitude. Here. Y'all ready? But the synagogue official indignant, angry, upset, boiling, mad. Because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, began saying to the crowd, and was talk to the congregation. Right? Talk to the congregation. <laughs> began saying to the crowd in response, there are six days in which work should be done. So come join them and get healed. Yeah. Not on the Sabbath day. Lord have mercy. But the Lord answered him, I love Jesus. The Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites. Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the stall and lead him away to water him? And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, as she is, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, should she not have been released from this bond on the Sabbath day? 17 And as he said this, all his opponents were being humiliated. Family, I find this synagogue rule this what we would call in our day a pastor as a genuine piece of work, y'all. I would have just like, after, you know, we have a praise party, you gonna stand up? After the guest preacher does preach, and this woman is healed. You ain't got nothing to say. But here you go with your religious self. He became irate, y'all. Indignant means you all this anger to the point where he was at the point, watch this family, he wanted to fight if he wanted to. He got just that mad and upset. He got aroused. He was angry. He was hot. He had an attitude. Because, watch this, Jesus broke the law. Jesus, he, he healed this Woman on a day of rest, but then watch this. Okay. They were so religious to the point they didn't know. Watch this, Jay, that the Sabbath was standing in front of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. He said, The Sabbath, listen, I'm standing right here. Right, right. Y'all thought it was a day of rest, but I'm the ultimate Sabbath because watch this. I'm gonna give you soul, your soul, rest. Come on, yeah. Ooh. And, Look at this, y'all. He didn't even turn Mr. Perkins with his coward self to Jesus. He turned to the congregation and began to tell them, remind them, don't get, don't, don't be out here celebrating. He broke the law. Yeah, this is Jesus, you understand, broke, broke the law. Y'all know that there's some synagogue rulers got some relatives running around churches in 2023. Yeah, that makes No, you can't do that in this here church. You broke the law. <laughs> You know, we got rules. We got bylaws and we got constitution. Listen, the Holy Spirit can override bylaws and constitution. Because when the Lord want to do his work, who are we to restrict him with rules? Unable to comprehend that God can be working with people mm-hmm. 
despite what the day is. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I come up under a church um, tradition where even Ernie sat behind this sacred desk called Path to Me. You don't let nobody stand behind this desk unless they're a preacher. <laughs> the devil is alive. This is Peter Wood. I'm standing in the of a kid. What? We, we're going to have a all meeting about a piece of wood that has been set aside for sacred use. <laughs> you know, uh huh. Rules. Here it is. Family. There are those who operate by this rule. We've never done it this way before. Family. Can I tell y'all something? That's on the tombstone of some churches that have died. We have not done it this way before. Yeah, now listen, and when they kept saying that, then guess what? They're the only ones in there saying, we ain't never done it this way. They, it ain't a we no more. It's you now. <laughs> um, family. He responds to the synagogue ruler. Watch this. He agreed with the synagogue ruler because he called the, the, the law into question. But he said, let me make an addendum to the law that I provide. <laughs> yeah, man. He said, listen, you care more about your animal than you care about this woman. Yes, that's right. Women, you appreciate this on Women's Month? Yes. He didn't say woman, he said daughter. All right. She's the daughter of Abraham. Ooh, the Jews would have got mad. Like, <laughs> who are you calling a daughter of Abraham? Where did you that at? <laughs> Jesus called her the daughter. Of oh, Abraham, mm -hmm. emphasizing family that this woman position is much more than the law that you have said. All right. Yes. Jesus, in essence, family, he was saying, if you can take care of a thirsty ox or a donkey, you should definitely be able to take care of a woman yes. mm -hmm. who Amen. is an heir of the blessing that was promised to Abraham. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jesus made it clear. That a beloved child of God was bowed and hurt, and the right thing to do, no matter when or where, is to love and have compassion on her and give her the healing. Watch this, um, you all, that she didn't even ask for. Yeah. Yeah. No, she didn't show up in church, Lady Q. She didn't walk up in there and say, Oh, Pastor, you know I've been bent over for 18 years. When Jesus gonna do what he's gonna do? <laughs> yep. She kept coming. Until it was like time. <laughs> Family, I did not close on this hypocrite of a synagogue ruler. But I did want to close here. The celebration of the multitude. 17B. Y'all ready for this party? This is where we fall in. And the entire crowd was rejoicing over glorious things being done by him. Here it is, family. We don't want to fall. Can, I, can we just make that clear? We don't want to fall in the category of the hypocrite church, you know, snapping off. We got laws, we got rules. But we want to be in that crowd where it says, we got laws, we got rules, we got constitution, we got all of that. But we make space for the Holy Spirit to do what he needs to do. Amen, amen. Amen. Have your way, Lord. Family, can I tell you something? We need to be people of celebration. Amen. Can Amen. I tell y'all something? We need to be people of celebration. Thank you, Can Lord. I say it again? Hallelujah. We need to be people yeah. of celebration. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Every chance we get, here it is, friends, we got to throw a party. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, if you just making some noise in your party, like, what you doing that party? Pastor <laughs> said we need to celebrate. Celebrate. Be people of celebrate. I mean, listen, um, go turn your music up, go get you some hot dogs, polishes, red hot. Uh, pig ears, pig feet, whatever. Um, Virginia turkey parts, whatever. However you want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Have you a celebration, family? Because watch this. What you're going through right now, Jesus is saying, I'm coming to straighten it out. Here it is. Keep celebrating me until I show up. <laughs> Here it is. I'm going through what I'm going through. But I'm still going to celebrate. Hello. Amen. I'm not going to give in to that which is bothering or concerning me. Amen. Well, family, 
I know we've been on this expressway a nice little while. You hear me? Yes, yeah, to let everybody know that Jesus is coming to straighten things out. Right, and I hear Lady Q, she looking at everybody here. That's Pastor, what does this have to do with me? Yeah. Yeah. Wrap it on up, baby. Come on, let's get off this expressway. I am. Here it is, Virginia. I see your boy in the corner. You right with one hand, waving a bow with the other. Here it is. The purpose of everything I have said this afternoon is to show you and I that Jesus cares about us. Yes. And he has a plan. Watch this, y'all. Y'all promise y'all will holler. He has a plan to assist us in whatever we need assistance yes, in. Hallelujah. And I go on and say, he wants to free you from everything that's currently binding yes, you. Amen. Free, free, yes, yes. God. In Jesus' name. Family, yes, Lord. the Lord is saying, whom the Son sets free. Hallelujah. It's free. In you. Family, yeah. Jesus is saying, I'm contacting you right now. Is there a circumstance in your life that is binding you? Is there anger from your past? A sin that keeps bothering you? Is there anything lingering, guilt, and all of that bitterness and the inability to forgive and that's left into your heart? Here it is. The Lord is saying, Forgiveness is yours. Freedom is yours. The Lord is saying, give it to me and let me send it out. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, He's saying to us that you too crooked to straighten your own self. Yeah. So let me yeah. straighten you oh, in the situation out. Yeah. And family, I'm talking to some people that the Lord has came into your life many times and straightened some things out. Yes, can we go ahead and show yeah. right here, Lord? I thank you to yeah. straighten me out and straighten the thing down. Yeah. Where would we be, family, if he didn't straighten the thing down? Lord. He'll probably be still, Mr. Perkins, somewhere out there crooked, or be crooked in the cemetery. Oh, right. But hallelujah goes right here. Hallelujah. That he straightened things out. Straighten it out. Can y'all take a trip with me? And I promise we get off this expressway. But here it is. But see, I can't go past um, this spot because, listen, every time I go past this spot, I want y'all to go past it too. And I'm going to drive real slow so that we can understand what's there for us. Here it is. Right, every time I go past it, it's about to cause me to holler now. Y'all ready for it? Here it is. Take a trip with me to Gail God. Yes. Yeah. Let's go real slow. Pass. Watch this, y'all. The cross. Can't you see it? The cross is bloody, y'all. Since we lit on our way to the resurrection, it might as well we talk about it. You understand? Oh, this cross is bloody, y'all. And every time we think about it, freedom happened at that place. Yes. Yes. Freedom happened at that place. At the cross. At the cross. Where? I first saw the light and the burden, hallelujah, of my heart was rolled away. It was there. By grace, I received my sight. And now, hallelujah, I am happy all the day. And look, it got good to him right like he did good to me. At the cross, at the cross. The family, I tell you, I parked the car at the cross, Mr. Perkins. Keep on driving. Let's go. And when we get to the tomb, y'all, they put a seal there. Grace, they thought they concealed truth. But truth said, let me move the stone because I'm the ultimate stone. And he got him out of there, y'all. Three days later. That's right. Y'all thought the Emancipation Proclamation was something. Yeah. The Emancipation Proclamation happened. Yeah. When he got up out of that grave on the third day. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, family, you ain't got to let the devil. Let you walk around with spiritual orthoporosis <laughs> just on your back and you let them ride your back. You need to tell that joker the ride stops here, Uber stops here, the limp stops here. 
Amen. Because the Lord wants me to stand up. I got to stand up. So, family, can y'all do me a favor and celebrate your freedom? Hallelujah. Your freedom. Celebrate your freedom. Hallelujah. I mean, raise a rousing praise for your freedom. messages we heard this right. today. Right. I hope your ears were, were open. Hope your eyes were open. 
this was such a good message. Yes. Yeah. 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 But we have one thing that we come to do right now, and this is the time where we can all participate. The pastor did his participation. It's over. This is where we pick up the, the slack now. As church, we can participate in doing what God said to do. Oh, yeah. and that's give him his portion back to him what he has. Amen. This is the time we have our tithes and offering. Amen. And he just asks us to give 10% back. For those that can even give more, you should. It's a Amen. blessing in giving Amen. more. Oh, yeah. It's truly a blessing Amen. in giving more. Give God what's right. This is what we are supposed to do. Give God the portion that he asks us to give. Give us God what's right. How do we how do we do it, kids? We say, what hand we put it in? Right, right hand. We don't give God what's left. That's symbolic. We ask God. We put it in our right hand so God can bless it. And we give him what belongs to him, the proper amount. <laughs> now, praise God. What you saying? Praise God. Praise God. Father God, we thank you for these tithes, these offerings, these gifts that were given back to you. Yes. Father, you were the one who gave them to us first. So we thank you for you giving them to us. Now, Father, we only ask of you to multiply them only as you can do. Use it for your kingdom builder and allow it to touch those that it need to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. He touched me. Wait, sit down. All right, let me uh, turn, turn Amber off. <laughs> she been working today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>